we notice a gap in our ability to explain the continuation of activity between the gene and the behaviors that we recognize as severe mental illness. And I saw myself as having the task of explaining what was in that gap between the genes and their being activated, turning things on, getting to something in between, and that in between thing being connected to the symptoms of mental illness. And that in between thing is what I call an endophenotype. The simplest definition of endophenotype, although the full definition would require spelling out five uh, rules, the main rule and in context is that it's a phenomenon between the genes and the symptoms of mental illness that is heritable. In other words, transmissible by genes between parents and their children and recognizable when you look at the similarity between you and your brother or you and your sister. And that goes back to the book that I wrote in 1972, published in 1972, with my British colleague with whom I did all of my initial twin research on schizophrenia in the United Kingdom. And together we realized that a concept that had been discovered in the study of grasshoppers in Australia, of all things, that that idea could be applied to understanding mental illness and its origins. And we realized that maybe we could draw a picture that would explain to everybody what we meant by endophenotype. We started to work on a diagram, which we realized we better call a cartoon, so people wouldn't take it too seriously and hold our feet to the fire. And we came up with this picture. And in this, we were able to draw representation of the genes, representations of the product of the genes, the way those products were connected to things in between, which I call endophenotypes, and to give specific examples of and the phenotypes, such as working memory and glial cell abnormalities, these are functions of the cells. The human body has more than 220 different kinds of cells, and each one listens to its own song. And each of these songs are di dictated by your genes when they are activated. The genes are activated by environmental input.